In this video, I'll demonstrate how to locate a source of interference using just a Wi-Spy Air and a mobile device. A couple weeks ago, MetaGeek Adam went on a walk around the foothills of Boise and said he noticed a high noise floor while testing out the Wi-Spy Air. So I decided to grab an iPad and Wi-Spy Air to see if I could track it down myself. Near the bottom of the trail, I open Air Viewer and turn networks off to focus the resources of the Wi-Spy Air on spectrum analysis. Almost immediately, I see the noise floor that Adam was referencing in the 2.4 GHz band at around negative 90 dBm. I start walking around to play hot or cold with the signal strength. I stop for a moment to go to settings and turn off the channels in the 5 GHz band, since I'm not really interested in those channels. Alright, back to the chase. As I walk around, the noise floor dips and lowers, but as a whole it starts to raise, telling me that I'm getting closer to the source. A quick raise for the camera tells me that the source is above me, and I continue upwards. I get to the top to find some towers with antennas, and my noise floor appears to be hovering around negative 80 dBm, telling me that I'm getting closer, and I start to think that these towers are the source of the noise floor. For a minute, the path takes me away from the towers, and my body attenuates the signal, which lowers the noise floor in almost real time. I then walk toward the first tower, raise the Wi-Fi by air, and the spectrum lights up. I can now confirm these towers are causing the elevated noise floor. I then begin to test the remaining towers out of curiosity. By the end of it, I'm able to capture a noise floor peaking at around negative 70 dBm, which would obliterate a Wi-Fi network. Interestingly enough, the loudest talkers were Yagi antennas as opposed to the dish or parabolic antennas. And that's about it. In almost no time at all, I was able to track and locate interference using just a Wi-Spy Air and a mobile device. Grab a Wi-Spy Air today and find out more at metageek.com.